As part of the Washington Water Project, our primary goal is to try and improve in-stream flow in critical tributaries that need water, and the more water we can get in the tributaries, the better off it is for fish. Certainly the most basic need facing any fish, and particularly endangered salmonids, is the water they live in. <laughs> water is where they live, it's where they migrate, it's where they reproduce, and more and more we're facing water that's too little in quantity or too warm in temperature. Our water is real important. Without it, the growers wouldn't be able to grow their crops and, and the homeowners need it for their yards and lawns. And It's an arid area and things wouldn't grow without it. And we're fortunate to get it off the river. We had one of the oldest irrigation systems in the valley. In the old earthen gravity system, we started around the 1st of April, diverting 12 to 15 CFS of water, and that water flowed all year long, uh, regardless if people are using it or, or not. A diversion dam is structure that is placed in a stream. It essentially was a miniature dam that diverted water into a ditch which served all these people. The ditch was old, it lost water through evaporation, and their diversion dam wasn't as effective as it once was. We had a lot of failures. Uh, every year we'd have issues where the ditch would go bad, the pipes would rust, uh, we had beavers in the ditch, we had moles, we had uh, you know a lot of problems. We would have to run that thing once or twice a day, looking for any number of things that cause issues along the way, and so it was a daily chore. And it was getting worse every year. So we needed to find a solution to modernize our, our system. So in 2008, Trout Unlimited approached Pioneer Water Users Association to partner with them to create a more efficient system that helps them while also helping the river. We've had a good team, we had good board of directors, we had Trout Unlimited involved in it, Schlein County PUD, and everybody got together. And we had back and forth discussions for about three or four years before we implemented this. The whole project took about five years to put together, and there was a whole lot of things that happened you know, 17 permits, 11 different funders, a water right change from their existing diversion down to the Columbia River. It was a tough battle, but we, we got it done and we're, we're happy with it. The way the new system works is there's a cone screen set out in the confluence of the Wenatchee and the Columbia Rivers. And then there's a suction line that drops underneath that and runs to a pump header where there's five turbine pumps, which uptakes it and shoots it out into the system. Along with them pumps, we can access data via a laptop, and also we put in cameras inside the pump station that we can see if the packings are okay, and it's a, so far a great success. The Pioneer Project is a highlight for water use because the system itself has changed from that historic delivery of water even when it's not being used to a new pressurized system that basically delivers water on demand and is way more efficient than the way they used to do it. If nobody's using any water, it's staying in the rivers. More water makes for more volume of habitat. You can get more invertebrate production, which is their food source. You can create more usable area, which is the actual physical habitat they live in. And by having more water, generally you'll have cooler water temperatures, which is critical for these fish in eastern Washington. I believe that fish and, and humans can get along, survive. You know, that's, that's important for all of us. The Pioneer Project is a large-scale irrigation efficiency project that we haven't seen before. It basically took an entire irrigation system with 107 different users, 375 irrigable acres, a whole bunch of complex issues, and put a state-of-the-art system on the ground for efficient use that not only helps the irrigators, but also helps the river.